Sup, sup, flappers. Welcome back to another video. I'm once again here with YouTube chat. I, I, I don't have my camera working. I just got a new computer, so I'm sorry. I guess in a good way, you don't get to see my face. Uh, so you don't get too distracted by the weird things that I do. Anyways, Chad and I today, we've been talking about Raiden. We've been talking about her current state. Uh, I've already updated Chad with what CN is talking about Raiden and the general community, what they're talking about Raiden, whether she is good, she is bad, and if she is good or if she is bad and need changes, what kind of changes are the communities demanding? Are they viable changes or are they completely unreasonable? Has Mahoyo responded to these demands? All of that I would be telling you guys as we continue through the video. So without further ado, like, subscribe. You can be one of these many hundred peoples here watching and having input into these videos. With that said, let us get right into the videos. Yes, that's an used pun and I will keep using it until I start getting <laughs> so I start getting hate for it, I guess. So let's start talking about the community backlash. All right. Yes. Yes, there is community backlash. I think at this point, we all know there's a general portion, bigger than usual portion of community members talking about Raiden. And I'm going to sift through the the really demanding ones and let's talk about the core of the issue here. All right. So as I promised you guys from a previous video, if that video got a thousand likes, I will be talking to you guys about the CN side of Raiden's concerns. So what the CN players right now on NGA and Billy Billy, they're really talking talking about Raiden, they're not bashing Raiden per se. I don't think it's as serious as the uh, Zhongli, if you guys remember the Zhongli issue. It's not as serious, but there are definitely concerns with Raiden because they're saying Raiden is too one-dimensional to say, right? While yes, her kid does seemingly deceptively almost bring a new aspect of gameplay to Genshin Impact, but it's nothing new that we don't already have right now. For example, they're saying, well, her elemental skill can buff the team's burst attack, right? So that's something new for a character. However, if you take a look at that and break it down, Noblesse two-piece already boosts character's burst skill. And then we look at her burst skill where she regenerates energy for the entire team, but at the same time, same element units, like for example, example, if you have Bennett running with Hu Tao, Bennett's already going to generate energy for Hu Tao. So these things, yes, they are better conveniences, but they don't offer anything unique and exclusive. Now, furthermore, the bigger problem at the core of all this is the fact that Raiden is Electro and Mahoyo has chosen to once again during this patch ignore Electro as an element, meaning that they, A, they don't see the issue or B, they see the issue, but they're trying to bypass the issue by creating these characters such as Raiden, such as Sara, with a unique and opportunistic kids to take advantage of the player's, uh, I guess, either laziness of not wanting to proper min-max their teams, such as pairing same element units as battery, or proper artifact optimization to draw out more power. So instead, you get a character like Raiden who buffs straight up your burst skill damage and also gives you energy to the entire team, right? It's, so the CN players are saying that's a very lazy way to go about uh, dealing with the problem with Electro, which... Mm, I, I mean, I stand behind it to a certain degree, but I do think Raiden has a role in our current um, gameplay and meta. At the same time, I do have to agree with them that Raiden does feel like she's too restrictive, especially when you take into account that you have to pair her with uh, other teams. For example, if you want to pair her with certain teammates, you want to buff energy, then she becomes a one-dimensional character in that you're only using her to buff energy and gain more particles for that unit, such as a character like Zhongli or Venti, who are both also so Archons, they are able to offer more through not only providing, let's say, Zhongli with a powerful shield, at the same time the shield also shreds all enemy resistances. That's two functions, whereas Raiden oftentimes only has one, or if it does have two, the second one is usually not as desirable or unique as, let's say, Venti's uh, burst skill. Not only with the four-piece Verdescent, you're shredding all of the resistance that the Anemo element comes in contact with. You're also pulling all the units together along with Zhongli burst skill you're not only throwing down a huge chunk of meteor on in a large aoe doing good damage you're also going to petrify them right so raiden shogun when talked about amongst these communities is often seen as this character who just falls short from her kid compared to the other archons and also her element type now 
when we talk about this, I think we really struck at the core of this issue. I've been talking to chat saying that the Raiden Shogun, if she were any other element right now, let's say if she were to be Pyro, Hydro, Cryo, Nemo, Geo, Hell, throw Dendro in there as well, she's going to be a better character. The fact that she is an Electro character and her elemental skill forcefully disrupts team synergy is a big no-no. Now, within the CN community, they're saying that Raiden is almost an exclusive Eula partner at this point. They do see the value when paired with Eula and a few other squads. She can definitely shine like a top tier unit, but apart from those teams, she does feel like she is knocked down quite a few pegs. All right, so let's talk about electro if electro were to be changed i would think raiden would immediately be shot back up into a top position and even maybe a top three contender in the game but as it currently stands if we're talking about raiden we're not really talking about Raiden. we're talking about the electro element and how are we going to even change this element currently i don't know mahoyo has released nothing zip zero nothing about electro changes or further electro alterations and I, it, it really does suck i've said this before i think i've been talking about potential electro electro changes for a good part of six months, half a year. And till this day, we still don't have clear signs of Mahoyo wanting to make adjustments to Electro. Electro's biggest problem is the lack of scaling damage uh, and how disruptive the element is for its offensive reactions uh, with Overload. It's too disruptive to DPS and while it's supposed to be offering this AoE explosive enemy disruption, it also doesn't work on stuttering bosses or disrupting bosses. So the explosion aspect doesn't even offer more multiplication than vaporize or melt at the same time it disrupts your damage window so making it difficult to pair with a large portion of the pyro characters such as hu tao even Klee to a certain extent uh diluc so the only pyro character that she works with is yoimiya and i've said this in the past yes raiden likely is going to be favoring yoimiya because yoimiya was a character that's designed to be played with overload and it would just be a stupid thing for maho to do if they don't balance raiden around overload potential as well and lo and behold yes raiden is an overload slash superconduct unit and that's already really stretching the capabilities of the electro element so with that said i think i've touched on all the points regarding the community concerns with the raiden shogun i just hope mahoyo can give us an answer or in the future they may be releasing new characters that would fit more into the raiden shogun's ballpark because currently right now she does not really fit well with the current meta and i know cringe ew meta talk but listen a lot of the times the uh, the mass majority of people playing this game are meta driven they want to be able to find the most optimized and efficient way to play the game i don't see anything wrong with that and raiden just happens to be a very small step towards uh you know reshaping the meta or adding to the current meta she does feel underwhelming especially for her role as an archon in the game let me know what you guys think regarding raiden this is what the community has been talking about and currently mahoyo has no answers with that said i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and until then Stay safe and peace, peace.